Mim Tea, probably not surprising if you've never heard of the brand, unless maybe you're French. Or if you're a keen Emily in Paris viewer, you would have seen the brand pop up in Emily's cabinets. I just wanted to make a dedicated video because I really love the aesthetic of the brand. To me, it's like a cross between French pharmacy with a, with a bit of Decium and a little bit of luxury sprinkled in. I've been using a few of their products for several weeks now, so I just thought I'd make a video to discuss them. So don't necessarily take this video as like a thorough review. It's more of an introduction and kind of a first impression. So let's get straight into it. Introducing Mintique. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. So <laughs> if I've been getting it wrong this whole video, forgive me, but I think it's Mintique. I can't imagine that it's Mimeteek, but maybe, who knows. <laughs> The whole philosophy of the brand is around skin mimicry, emulating the natural components already present in skin and forming new topical solutions. Hence the name Mimtique, miming the skin. Now this whole skin miming philosophy is presented as quite a new novel marketing approach within all of the advertising of the brand. But to be honest, this is essentially how most brands operate these days. They're kind of looking for things that are present in the skin. They're looking how to support things that are naturally present in the skin. So that's very much much the DNA of a lot of skincare brands. That's why we see ceramides and natural moisturizing factors, amino acids, all that stuff, because everyone is essentially already trying to emulate the existing mechanisms of the skin. That said, I'm not going to hate on a brand for taking on this philosophy or for creating like a marketing catchphrase around it. Any brand that exists to help support the skin perform optimally is exactly the type of philosophy that I think all brands should have. In order to achieve their particular skin mimicry, Mimtique have developed a complex of five ingredients. They call this mixture SMRC5. And this is where the Mimteek philosophy or point of difference really kicks into gear. At the time of filming, Mimteek offers five products in their reign, basically hitting the basis of all the most used skincare products, just no sunscreen. <laughs> What is SMR C5 or SMR dash C5? As I mentioned earlier, Mimteek have developed their own ingredient complex that they're calling SMR dash C5. This seems to be the through line of the entire brand. The blend includes carnosine peptide to act as an antioxidant. It protects skin cells and proteins from free radicals and also protects the skin from enzymes responsible for protein degradation. Oligo, if, I, if I'm saying this right, oligosaccharides, they assist with trans epidermal water loss, both limiting water evaporation and also promoting water retention. The included amino acids and minerals stimulate natural hydration factors and also assist with more long-term hydration. Beta-glucan has been included as, as a skin soothing extract. It's a hydrator and can, also, and can also help the skin defend itself from environmental aggressors. Several brands have been touting their specific complexes as a point of difference for many years. Um, La, Mer, La Mer obviously has their miracle broth, but I think it was really Augustin Esparta that popularized things like their TFC8. That just seems to be the way of creating a bit of specialness in a brand is by defining a certain complex that the brand feels really make the skin thrive. I'm not sure how specifically special this blend that Mimteek uses is, but it's certainly a sensible combination of ingredients and exactly the sort of things that I think most of us would be looking for in topical products anyway. Moving on to the overall product range. From what is indicated on the website, the cosmetic chemist behind the brand, I think used to work for maybe Guerlain and La Mer. And I think you can tell that there is experience within the beauty industry with these products. The design of Mimteek, like the packaging selection is all aluminium or glass. And the appearance just strikes me as being very streamlined and modern. It's like it blends some luxury components with, familiar, with a familiar pharmaceutical look. And then they've thrown in a bit of color for a lot of extra shelf appear. I'm not the kind of person to pretend that branding and packaging doesn't matter. It absolutely does. And I think they've nailed the presentation. If you followed me for a while, you might know that I'm a huge fan of Biologique Recherche and Violette FR. And I feel like the aesthetic of Mimtik sits right alongside those brands. The five products currently available are the Skin, the Skin Cloud Cleansing Balm, the Skin Revive Face Serum, the Skin Restore Face Cream, the Skin Booster Face Oil, and the Control Eye Cream. I've used the Cleansing Balm, the serum and the cream, so I'll discuss those separately with a bit of a mini review right now. <music> 
the Skin Cloud Cleansing Balm. This is very much the type of cleansing balm that I enjoy. It's a nourishing oil that feels creamy and rich, but emulsifies really well and I think it rinses pretty well too. A lot of other cleansing balms take on more of like a waxy texture and some people do enjoy that waxy feel, although I much prefer a more oily, like nourishing texture. To me, products like this, they just feel like they have more of an affinity with the skin and I like that I can massage them in without them feeling too superficial. I also love the packaging. It's an aluminium tube, which is not that common for cleansing balms. That's just a really nice touch. The only minor downside that I experienced is that the balm that I received wasn't entirely smooth. It's like some of the ingredients solidified slightly. <laughs> This sometimes does happen with more natural leaning products, especially with oils, and I see it often in lip balms. It's overall not much of an issue because ultimately the product still melts down in use. It's just more of an aesthetic thing. In terms of the amount of residue, because I know this is like a significant thing for some people, it's certainly not a lot of residue. I would say it has a mildly like conditioning effect on the skin. I wouldn't say that it rinses off like 1000% cleanly, but it's certainly not annoying in any way. And, and I can proceed to the next steps in my routine without any issue. Next product is the Skin Revive Face Serum. This is the product of the three that I'm probably most unsure about. To their flagship SMRC5 complex, they've also added niacinamide and ascorbyl glucoside to really round out this serum as like a one and done product. So the actual purpose and intention of this completely makes sense. And I think they've chosen a thoughtful list of ingredients. I guess I would say I just find the ingredient blend a little bit common. So when I'm so when I'm exploring new brands, I guess I'm looking for a point of difference or things that maybe I don't already have in a million other products. And I'm not sure I've found that level of specialness here. I am very much a skincare maximalist though, and I try a lot of products from lots of different brands. I would suggest that this product, this brand overall, is maybe targeting more of the skincare minimalist, where you do want a simplified routine and are happy to use a one and done product. But beyond just how common the ingredient list is, I'm not 100% satisfied with the texture. To me, this has a little bit of an oily and slippy feel. And if I apply a little bit too much, it can start to feel a little bit heavy on my skin, especially in the daytime. I am someone that does prefer more weightless leaning textures. And although it's technically my fault how much product I've applied, it's just the way the serum dispenses it doesn't really allow for the most accurate amount of serum to come out. So it's like, sometimes I feel like I don't have enough. Sometimes I end up with too much, but that also might just be a learning curve. I guess if you're somebody that doesn't really enjoy the more watery textures that are common and you do prefer a little bit more slickness or a slightly oily feel, then you would probably really enjoy this te texture. And I imagine maybe more dehydrated, dry leaning skin types would even prefer it. Next is the Skin Restore Face Cream. This is a beautiful beautiful face cream with a really indulgent silky texture. It feels creamy, but also a little bit gelled. It's certainly not pasty or thick in any way. It actually reminds me a lot of Instant Angel, maybe just even a little bit richer. I originally intended to use this during the day because it does appear and feel quite lightweight initially but then it kind of develops into a richer texture as it's wearing. But I found that it just makes my skin look a little bit too dewy for my preferences. So I ended up shifting it to night. It does have an absolutely beautiful harmony to the skin. And I think this product especially does a great job at demonstrating what skin mimicry is and how it can feel. I believe they're using a lamella emulsion in this, which is probably my favorite type of emulsion for moisturizers. They just do have a really good affinity with the skin. The amount of like oil that I could detect in this is just a little bit higher than normal. So again, I think like the face serum, people who are more dry dehydrated might prefer it more than I do. I didn't pick up the face oil or the eye cream just cause they didn't really seem to offer much of a point of difference. I do feel like this brand is targeting more of a skincare minimalist that just wants a few products that hits a lot of the bases. Whereas as I mentioned before, I'm more of a maximalist. So I'm looking for certain levels of like, so I'm looking for certain things that maybe I don't already have in my routine, but I think Mimteek is a great quality brand. If you're in France, if you're in Europe, if you just are a skincare minimalist, this is a great one to explore. At least have a look at their website, have a browse through, see if you like the packaging and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.
just some overall thoughts. I think Mimteek have done a really nice job of creating both a functional and beautiful skincare line, especially in a crowded market. In the few weeks that I've been using it, my skin has responded really well. It, feel, it always feels moisturized, nourished, and cared for. The textures to me are a little bit richer than I prefer, but I think if you want a more dewy, glowy, like glass skin look, this will very much help you achieve that. Now the price point is on the high end and I think maybe again, because it's lacking a little bit of that extra point of difference, it's probably a little bit overpriced. There's quite a lot of ingredient overlap as well. So it's like, I assume they had to go through a lot of research and development to form their complex, but it's ultimately repeated a lot within the products. So I'm not sure that I see the value necessarily in the brand overall. I'll have to update you when they appear in my empties. Only time will tell how they sit in my routine long-term, but my initial experience with the brand has been super positive. And if you're not that bothered by the price point and you're looking for a more modern streamlined skincare approach, I think this is very much a brand that's worth exploring. I can see myself repurchasing the cleansing balm definitely, maybe the face cream, just time will tell on that. Well, that's it for this little intro production video. Thank you for watching. Again, let me know if you have any questions or feedback in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.